stroke syndromes are collections of signs and symptoms resulting from strokes in different regions of the brain or central nervous system. In this video, we will cover the stroke syndrome associated with strokes in the territory of the anterior cerebral artery. It supplies the medial and superior frontal and parietal lobes, as well as some other structures such as parts of the corpus callosum and basal ganglia. It is made up of segments. First arising from the internal carotid artery is the A1 segment, and this reaches up until the anterior communicating artery, which connects both the left and right hemispheres. This segment also gives off the medial lenticulostriae arteries that supply part of the caudate nucleus and the internal capsule. The A2 segment extends from the anterior communicating artery up until the bifurcation between the pericolosal and the callosomarginal arteries. Essentially, segments A3, A4 and A5 are the proximal, middle and distal segments of the pericolosal artery. In anterior cerebral artery stroke syndrome, the findings vary. Most commonly, there is a contralateral weakness of the leg, more so than the arm or the face. This is due to the arrangement of the cortical neurons, known as the motor homunculus, which shows that the anterior cerebral artery supplies neurons involved mostly in the motor control of the contralateral leg. Sensory deficits are less common, but when present are generally contralateral. Other findings can include abulia, which is the absence of willpower or the inability to act decisively. Speech disturbances may also be present, specifically transcortical motor aphasia, which is a non-fluent form of aphasia where the individual has difficulty in initiating sentences but may have good repetition skills. Another type is transcortical mixed aphasia, meaning there are severe deficits in speaking and comprehension, but repetition is preserved. As the anterior cerebral artery supplies the area of the brain associated with voluntary bladder control, lesions here can result in urinary incontinence. A syndrome of ipsilateral ataxia and contralateral lower limb paresis has been described as a result of an anterior cerebral artery infarct. If both anterior cerebral arteries are involved, then there may be bilateral leg weakness and frontal disinhibition symptoms, which may include the presence of primitive reflexes, such as grasping and sucking reflexes, that are normally inhibited by a mature frontal lobe. Another example is personality changes. 